Well, looks like we got a lot of snow this weekend, but if you're to 11 to 14 Mustangs and looking to see what mods you should do, stick around in this video. All right, let's get into today's video. Now for interior mods, I don't have much to say since I don't have much personally, but a good mod that I would say is a weighted shift knob and also a shift boot. So the shifter boot was about 10 to $20 from eBay. And I would say the shift knob was about 50 to 80 on American Muscle. And of course you can get the $10 ones or something like that. But if you want a good feeling with shifting, I would say go with the shift knob that's weighted. And that's really all to say about interior. Now to start off with these exteriors on these 11 to 14 Mustangs and the pretty obvious mod, it's definitely going to be a set of wheels. Now I have here is a bundle set I got from LMR, they're downforce wheels. Not a few wheels before, but with 100%, I can say that these are probably my favorite wheels I had so far. Now I'm running 255s on the front and 275s in the back. And when it comes to hooking and booking, well, these really aren't the best, but from my cosmetic and appearance standpoint, these are definitely worth it. Now the next mod is going to be your exhaust. And when it comes to exhaust, many goes with X pipes, no cats, and other stuff. But I would say for a nice, good, unique sound, I would definitely get to say changing your muffler. Now with my Mustang, I have a stock H pipe with Cat and Flow Masters, and it sounds really nice. And I get many compliments for it because you don't really hear many low E coyote sounds. But once I get the long tubes, it's gonna be a lot different. But for now, this is my favorite exhaust setup for these Mustangs. So I would say for the next mod is going to be a shorter antenna. Now I got this one from American Muscle at a decent price. Now before anything, you can also get many of these parts from CJ Pony Parts. I like both and I've been actually shopping more at CJ more recently so just throwing that out there. Now these shorter ones are good and give a little sparkle to these cars. I think it's just the small things that make a big difference. Now the next thing is going to be side markers. Now these side markers are something that I never really cared for and just saw something that's really nothing. And I tried tinting them myself and I also tried spray painting them black but instead I went with the good old eBay and I found some black LED ones for a good price and once in selling them, I love them. This is just one of those mods where it'll make the car feel more modern and up to date and with how bright these things are and the simple to install, it's definitely worth the price. Now the final part is the one that I recently installed was the GT500 spoiler. Now I don't know what took so long with going with this spoiler, but after seeing it and I believe it was a building Mustang in 10 minutes, I just loved how the spoiler looked. With the red and the stripes, it just caught my eye. And of course, I went onto eBay and ordered a primered one because I definitely was gonna pay the 300 one. Now I bought some Kona blue paint from touchup.com and I'm not a professional painter at all, but once the first layer and finishing it off with a clear coat, looks really good and it's definitely going to be a lot better once I put on the stripes but it's probably my favorite spoiler and I'm probably going to be sticking it with it for a while I do still have the old wicker bill in case I didn't like this GT500 one but I doubt I'll be needing that anytime soon now those are just some of the fun and cool modifications that you can do whether you're looking for a small project or just improve your car cosmetically as always don't forget to like comment subscribe and let me know what you think what did I miss any parts that I should have added any next video ideas. As always, thank you and have a blessed day.